This program has not been altered to fit your television set. Believe it or not, this is the way it came. Hello, my name is Steve Smith. Tonight, I get to be a god. An unusual statement coming from an older married man with average looks and no discernible talents. But yes, in tonight's movie, I get to be the voice of Hercules! I wanted you to notice me. I want to become like you, Hercules. You'll need to take massive quantities of anabolic steroids. This is a thrill for me because I actually saw this movie when it first came out. I was on a date at the drive-in with the girl who later became my wife. Not later that night, I meant just later. But like I say, the movie was at the drive-in and I got to see the whole thing, so that should tell you how the date went. I always blamed Hercules, but now I get my revenge. Let's watch. My name is Hercules. I'm with the Automobile Club. I'll fix your flat, massage your horse, and give that nighty a little workout. Baby, I'm quick and I'm good. I do everything real fast. Take your time. I'm in no hurry to return to the city that I detest. I have tickets for tonight's Michael Jackson concert. If I were you, I wouldn't go. It's a great place to meet young boys. That isn't true. You're the one who offered to go there and teach my brother the arts of war. You're not making any sense. No. You were wrong in coming to Joko. I'm sure you heard the story of my family. I heard the story of your dad. That whole bestiality thing. I was only a child. And the memory of the past are like clouds that come and go with the wind. I left her there whining and went on to Jolko myself. There I found hundreds of semi-naked men, all of them anxious for hand-to-hand -hand physical contact, and most of them a little light in the sandals. Look at him, between Castor and Pollux. Deceit does not go with a man of such quality. Incoming! Careful. You could put your eye out. Remember, it's not the length of the pole, it's the speed of the approach. I wanted you to notice me. I want to become like you, Hercules. You'll need to take massive quantities of anabolic steroids. My father says that you're only a man of strength, but I know that you place your strength at the service of intelligence. You're a doofus. What? You think that just by sucking up to me, you could have full rounded breasts like these? You're gonna need estrogen therapy and some expensive implants. For the work? It was the king's son approaching. A big baby, that's why they called him a fetus. Men feared him. He was a terrible driver. Oh! I might have known it was him. Forgive us, but we must be going. Farewell, Hercules. Yeah, whatever. The men turned and walked away, disgusted by the presence of a fetus with a full diaper. No one in all of Thessaly has ever beaten me in throwing the discus. Do you accept the challenge? Duh! The fetus has chosen wisely. The heavy build of Hercules will be a point against him in this trial of skill. Let's mm -hmm. wait and see. A throw of 137 feet. That was an unusually long throw. It will be difficult for Hercules to beat that record. Don't be too sure. All right, Hercules, show us your style. How do you throw the discus and feet? With two hands? <laughs> Oh, 
be the son of Jupiter. pleased. I'd made a good throw and had won the contest, but instead of congratulations, I was picking up a lot of negative vibes. We better go, Father. It was then I realized that while throwing the discus, my loincloth had slipped off. Some of you may have noticed that the lips don't always sync up with what the actors are saying. I find this a lot in Italian movies. I believe it's due to carpal tunnel syndrome in the lips from eating pasta al dente. I could be wrong. Just to recap, Hercules has humiliated a fetus at the discus throw and now must pay the price. In many ways similar to what you're going through if you've decided to watch the rest of this program. any friends in Joko. Return to Thebes, Hercules. Not until I get some kissing lessons. What good will that do you? If Phoebus will seek revenge because you made a fool of him. I want more of your sweet thang, Mama. And I'm sure I couldn't live without you, Hercules. Oh, I was so afraid that you would leave me. And I imagined myself in that sad palace, alone again, without a friend. Cruel as the hailstones on young wheat. She only prefers the young, the children and the women. Stay in your homes or you'll be next. He's right. We must kill the lion. Who will go after him? What has happened? The lion has returned. The cat came back? In the valley of Godoro, a few miles from town. Yeah! Do go, Hercules! I didn't want to go and face the lion, but I couldn't stop the horses. My only chance was to find a service center or maybe a cliff and then steer the horses to pull the chariot over the edge of it. No, wait, that's not a good plan. day I realized I was being followed. It was a fetus. I thought to myself, stop spying on me. Stop spying on me. No, I wouldn't miss this performance for anything in the world. You dink. I want to see how you kill a lion now that you have mastered the discus. I thought you were an intelligent man. You'll find out it's not true. Piss off. This is my movie. You are also responsible for disgracing me in front of my people. And I swear by the gods that if the lion spares your life, my sword will split your skull. <laughs> except for his eyes. I went to check on a fetus. Was he dead? Could I save him? Did I care? I found his arm and picked it up, looking for any sign of life. Oh. 
I'm sorry we had to go with that last joke, but we just had to. I don't think there's any more of that kind of thing, but I can't promise. A huge plot twist coming as Hercules returns to Jolko with a guy named Jason who claims to be the rightful heir to the throne. This is almost exciting enough to watch. to be your cousin Jason. Hurry, please. And so? While Yoli awaited my return, I met a guy who said he was the rightful king of Jolko. I said, yeah, okay, and brought him back to the city to claim his throne. I'm willing to believe you, my boy, but I hope you'll understand my position. I need proof. It is possible that you are telling me the truth, but I cannot give up my throne and the government of this city to the first stranger who comes and claims to be my nephew. Now you say that Kironas cheat me. I think you need to loosen off your tiara. There is nothing you can say that will alter my way of thinking. You've already brought enough sorrow to my house. You also want to seize my throne? No, do with it? Well, I'm here. Here's the man. King Peleus, with your permission, I think that arguing is a waste of time. If what this young man says is true, the gods will tell us. Find the Golden Fleece, or disappear in the silence of death. Then the people shall know that the throne of Jolko is upright and lawful. We shall go there and return with the truth, King Peleus. Orpheus is right. I am ready to leave. I am with you. Me too. Yoli! What is it you want? Don't assume that I'm a homosexual. Really? Then what am I to believe? I must sleep with a man to find the truth. Truth? From the very beginning, you knew what truth you wanted to uncover. I've traveled the world, but I've never been to me. What are you waiting for? Didn't you hear what Orpheus said? Now you have another job to do. More glory for you. Go with the one who calls himself Jason. Win victories for yourself and more grief for me. Do you think I want to spend my nights on a boat? with half-naked muscular men rubbing up against my perfectly sculpted thighs? It's my job to put these men behind me. No, Hercules. Your destiny is not mine. take the orgies. Come on, stop doing that. Put those away. Not funny. We went ashore to find the golden fleece, or as it's known in Spain, the fleece Navidad. Jason went on ahead with his spear. I warned him not to poke his eye out. As luck would have it, the fleece was hanging in a tree. What Jason didn't know, and you're gonna love this, is that the fleece was guarded by a giant dog, or as it's known in Spain, my dog has fleece. After a short and somewhat one-sided battle, Jason fulfilled my prophecy by poking the dog's eye out.
Later, on the ship, we put the valuable police into a trunk and got the men to keep their valuables tucked away in their own trunks as we headed back to Jolko. A beautiful woman, a guy with huge muscles, and a dinosaur. This movie has everything, doesn't it? For those of you who've decided to watch all of these shows, in a future episode, we'll be doing Hercules Unchained. I thought it was only right to warn you. But first, let's put this one in the can. Seems appropriate. Why doesn't he come up on deck? I don't know. I'll find out. Ah, here he comes. What's happened? We've been fleeced. Where is the golden fleece? Don't look at me. I never touched it. Every single one of you can smell my hands if you want to. But no one went ashore. Eurasius wore the fleece to bed last night. Ask him. He's missing. Traitor! Now the people of Joker will believe we're lying. This is the end of it. No, not yet. I'll go ashore. I'll find the golden fleece and we'll have a party. A super duper beach blanket blow up with alcohol and cigarettes for everybody. If the duty free is open, I'll wave a torch from one of the palace windows. I'm here to pick up my dry cleaning. And I suggest you start sending out resumes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll signal the men to come in here and kill you. Look there, the signal. Let's go to the palace, come on. Jason's on his way, and he's so mad at you, he could absolutely spit. Plus, he's hurt. If he gets here alive. Yes, okay, granted, that's a given. Your conceit and self-assurance make me laugh. Well, your breath makes me sick, so there. Ah, this is a big letdown. What is this? You're not to leave your room. That's the king's order. The king's order? Tell me, where's Hercules? We don't know anything. told me that your journey has been successful. That you have found the Colchides and recovered the Golden Fleece. May I see it, Jason? Where is Hercules? Enough of your stupid questions. Show me the Golden Fleece and my throne is yours. But if you're lying, I'll have you executed with all your crowd of slaves and imposters. For you and your men are my prisoners. Never! Never, Peleus.
A life of adventure and courage becomes a great teacher. I have learned so much. I've learned, well, so much, really. Things like, well, Jason was the rightful king and it seemed impossible for him to regain his throne or at least really difficult. Well, not easy, that's for sure. And yet, all we had to do was believe and get an animal skin and kill a bunch of guys and a lion and a really big dog and I learned that if you make me mad, you better have good home insurance. Oh, and most of all, I learned about love. Be it love between a man and a woman, or a man and a man, or a man and a large pizza, or anything greasy. It's all love, and it's our challenge as people to live together side by side with mutual respect for any and all alternate lifestyles, unless it's something really disgusting. Fine. Next time on Steve Smith Playhouse, I'll be having my way with the giant Gila monster, where I do the voice hurt. of Chase Winston. You work all the angles, don't you, Chase? Mr. Compton, I love you. If you like lizards acting, you won't want to miss giant Gila monster until you see it. That's next time on the Playhouse. I'll see you then.